pretty much a disaster. So we've got our ambulance, we moved it, and the back is completely finished. Sawyer yesterday buttoned up the back door. Looks really good, this is super solid. Um, same construction as the rest of the ambulance, so that's gonna be really nice and strong. We can throw a tire on the back or a big box or whatever we need. Um, because right now our ambulance doesn't have a spare tire. Um, we'll be doing electrical this week and finish insulating. And Sawyer, for the next week probably, is going to be finagling with our cab over. I don't so, know if this is an ambulance anymore. It's starting to look like a U-Haul. Yeah. <laughs> much more, much more professional. So Sawyer, show us what we got. Well, we have uh, these custom form pieces with a flange on the bottom. Um, that adds a ton of strength, but the whole idea behind this is to avoid welding as much as possible because that's a lot of work for one and it uh, distorts everything. So the idea is to just set it up on top of this. We'll have to weld this joint out, which is good for strength, but we're gonna try and go crazy with rivets and just rivet this whole thing together wherever we can. And those will be inside so that the outside is seamless other than our caulk joint. But it looks pretty decent. It's a little tall. Um, it's hard to, this is a really hard piece to make just because most people don't have a die that big. Uh, this, this is a pretty standard joint, but for him to get this exactly where it is and to have it come out five inches is what we needed. It's more like five and an eighth. It's a little tall, but we can weld that joint. And up here, no one's ever gonna notice. So I'm pretty happy with the overall end result. It looks sweet. All right, I'm gonna show you the metal that we had folded. Let me get a clamp on there. So we started with uh, this really large piece here, which weighs a ton. And it's got two 45 degree folds in it. And that's gonna be the very front of our cab over. The next pieces we have are a lot of these rounded corner bits like this. So you can see a little bit better how these are rounded and folded. And this is going to allow us to rivet the whole thing instead of uh, welding. Well, I should say minimal welding. So, yeah, this is the beginning, and uh, we're excited to get this cab overbuilt. Should be like an inch overlap right there. Once that goes down, that should be somewhere right there that guy to go wherever it's gonna go. Here we are, starboard side of the big white submarine. I'm just fitting up these front corners here. We decided we're gonna butt weld them. It's quite a bit of math because of the 45s and then the big old radiuses. That makes it hard to put a straight edge on the corner. So there's that to deal with. I still have to make the other piece right here, hang them down low, and then we're gonna cut them flush with the bottom just for the night to see if we can fit our new roof piece, see how it works out. Those kids are excited to be here. So here's what the other side looks like. We have it riveted and tack welded together. It looks a lot like a U-Haul. <laughs> Well, don't do what I did. <laughs> so the router worked decently, but made a really messy cut. 
and then I used a butter knife, no, a bread knife. Mom, that was a bad recommendation. <laughs> I, used a, I used a bread knife to cut the rest of it out. So it basically made an awful cut, made a huge mess, and it was really inefficient. So I don't know how to do it right, but that way it was not good. This is exciting. All right. So this big hunk of metal, which is eight feet long, one eighth inch thick, and what weighs about 75 pounds? Yeah, 50 yeah. pounds, not terribly heavy. We're gonna put that up here. It's probably gonna be a little wide and we're gonna have to cut her down, but we need to see what it's gonna look like. Only way to make that work is to have that be longer. I have an easy, I think an easy solution. That piece, the, the scrap, we can cut the bottom off and put that upside down so it's taller. Hold on, I got a thing. Pretty much a disaster. It looks so sweet. Yeah, that looks, that looks <laughs> really good, good man. <laughs> All right, so check this out. Here's my thinking. You can see you have a quick daddy hug. Yeah. I think I got it figured out. Yeah? I do. This is a pretty straightforward problem. Actually, the case. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's straight. And then we're going to use that one upside down. So we're going to turn that one upside down and use that as the bottom. So now what we're going to do is we've got Hi. Yeah, but... What is your plan now? Uh, we're going to cut it. You know, we better measure this just to. I mean, it should be 8 feet, right? Exactly. Um, what a bummer. I mean, that thing. All good? No, it's time for bed. Night! 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 Hey, you did it. We have all the video evidence of me destroying your hood and your windshield. I thought you shattered it when you said you broke it. No, but I think by the time you start driving it, you're going to want a new windshield. You got some little splatter drops all over it. All so. over the place, man. Just the right one. I really don't know. Apparently not. I think it's the wrong one. Yeah, this is the wrong one. Angle's the same, so that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah